Good riddance. No! We can't let that happen. We have to go after it. We have to save it! My dude! Who put her in charge? Like we can't start the ship? The monster still has Bill's keys! No problem. You said it, Neil. We can hardwire the manual override on Bill's ship. That's it. Set a course to intercept. The monster is on a bearing of 037 Mark 270. If it reaches Earth's atmosphere, it'll burn up on re-entry. Coming in too fast. Just burning up. This is it, Scooby Doo. We're going to that great big barbecue in the sky. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta slow us down. Pretty obvious science, dude. Hold on. <laughs> When you apply to the space program as many times as I have, you'll learn a thing or two. Oh no! The front landing skid is out. It must have melted in re-entry. We'll have to do a belly landing. Jeepers, isn't that dangerous? Without an extra set of wheels, yes. An extra set of wheels? I've got this. Steve Urkel picks me up with the remote control for the mystery machine. after he blew it up the first time. Stephen Quincy Urkel? You know that dude? Yes, we're, we're familiar, familiar with him. still laid out for the wedding feast that never happened. <laughs> like his mummified food. Mummy. No mummies, guys. It's just food. The legend goes that back in the 1880s, Lenora Wainsley was set to marry one of the most famous chefs from New Orleans, Bayard B. Beauregard. That day, he created, cooked, and laid out the most lavish wedding feast ever. <laughs> yeah, except he didn't stick around for the marriage part. <laughs> no, he ran off. And then the angry Lenora cursed everything. The house, the feast, herself. Eventually becoming the wedding witch of Wainsley Hall. Hmm. Nobody there. What the heck? Oh shoot, Scooby-Doo! That's just a Jill Possum and her little Joey's. That's nothing to be scared of. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully this is the point where you guys solve the mystery, right? Like wrong! This is the point where we all run for our lives! Run for our lives! <laughs> Come on, gang!
Fred, grab the shovels. We have some digging to do. Boy, dude, there he is. Look! I don't know why we're hiding. Why don't I just go out there and destroy him? Wonder Woman, in our experience, these things are usually a regular guy in a rubber mask. Daphne, in my experience, these things are mythical beasts that need to be defeated and sent back to the underworld. He's taking the bait. He understands the riddle. He knows where the statue of Zeus used to be. Oh, this is so exciting. Let me just end this. <laughs> We can't let you destroy that guy. We have to trap him. And then you'll see the truth. We'll give you the signal when it's time for you to jump in. I promise, we know what we're doing. Okay, I trust you, I guess. We'll do it your way. Hey, Minnie! Looking for this? Sorry, but we got here first. Boy, Fred, over here! Shaggy, here! the ball! Um, hello? Time for me to take over? No, I got this as long as it doesn't get me! Daphne, now! Hey, Baldu, we got a surprise for you! Uh... It's time for my way! Uh... Don't you cry, Weird Al will help you to get by. And if we can't get out of this place, a big old dino's gonna eat your face. Not helping. Yeah, dude, like how about no more accordion? Fine. <laughs> what? You didn't say anything about not playing the theremin. See, the theremin is just so cool. in a cave. It's okay, because at least we're cut off from that hungry, angry dinosaur. Yeah, hungry. Oh, look. Scoob, there's like a real baby dinosaur in there. Will it hatch? No, Scooby, that egg is a crystallized fossil. It's millions of years old. It's a crazy dinosaur! <laughs> this dinosaur egg. <laughs> Guys, 
Look what we found! Jinkies, this is priceless. That dinosaur was desperately trying to get it from us. That's perfect. We can use it as bait. Now all we need to do is build a trap. <laughs> no need. I have already built one. Really? I I've already got the trap all rigged and ready to go. If we can lure the dinosaur into this dry creek bed, we can blow the sluice gates on the dam upstream. The water will come rushing down and carry the dinosaur right into these nets here I've got strung across the channel. Wow, that is amazing, Weird Al. Hey, wait a minute. Is this a trap you created to catch the camper's parents? No, no, never, no. Uh, yes, well, maybe. I have a very strict policy about parents sneaking out before our big accordion concerts. We round them up and bring them back. Well, I for one think it's a great trap. And you know what I always say? Trappin' time! Trappin' time, trappin' time. Everybody smile and follow the line. Cause it's trappin', 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 trappin' time! Ow! Yeah. Ow! Yeah. Ow! 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 Oh. Ow! You're hurting me! Stiff up a lip, Mrs. Hudson. Courage before all. That's it. My name is not Mrs. Hudson. Shaggy, don't. You aren't the real Sherlock Holmes, and I don't want to be Mrs. Hudson anymore. Oh, no, I, I do not understand. You're, like, probably trying to steal the jewels and blame us. Stealing? <laughs> I have never stolen anything. I'm not Mrs. Hudson, and Velma isn't Watson. Those are both fictional characters. Like someone else we know that will remain nameless. Cop, Sherlock, Cop Holmes, Cop, Cop, crazy dude Sherlock, Cop Holmes! Well, you, you, you don't understand. This is, the, well, there has to be someone to talk to, to listen to my pithy comments, my, my enigmatic statements, because I, I have very good pithy comments. People are grateful to hear my pithy comments. Grateful, and all I ask in return is... Why, dude? What? Screaming. They're right behind you. Oh, crud. They're getting away! Hurry! It may not be too late! Fire the ballista! Sherlock! Fire it! Stop, <laughs> Sherlock! It's worse than It's not working! It's not working! It's not working! <laughs> Already in motion. I mean, you say it in a funny way, but it's just your name. It's not a catchphrase. Do you, do you know what I mean? I don't get it. You need a a catchphrase. Do you, do you know what I mean? You know, like, uh, um, like, what's up, Doc? You can't use that because it's someone else's, but you could use, you know, why don't you use, um, what's up, Vet? You've got a vet, I assume. You know, like, hey, what's up, Vet? I don't know. Just think about it. Oh, <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, boy. Okay, I have to ask, how did you become such good friends with Sia? We met at a cooling workshop in Sweden. The ancient Swedish herding call?
Jeepers! It's Wonder Woman! By my calculations, we're 121 kilometers from Delphi. That should put us there in two hours and 4.3 minutes. I'll wait for you there, but I do have room in the invisible jet if anyone wants to fly with me. Me, me! Pick me! Of course, Scooby-Doo. It would be an honor, you big sweetie. Don't be afraid. Afraid? With you? <laughs> no way. I can't believe Scoob is flying. He's terrified of heights. He gets scared on the swing set. Do you think he'll be okay? Hello, he's with Wonder Woman. <laughs> Is this? Hey, Batman, it's me, Velma. Velma Dinkley? How did you get this number? Oh, I hacked it off your utility belt when you were threatening Shaggy and Scooby earlier. Hmm. Respect the respect. Look, we've made a crazy discovery in this mystery. Do you know Bruce Wayne? You know that dude who's crazy, super rich and stuff? Yes, I am familiar with Mr. Wayne. Well, someone is trying to hack into his bank accounts using a sophisticated algorithm to crack his password. Maybe it has to do with Mr. Pennyworth's abduction. I'm sending you a pic now. Miss Dinkley, I'm not sure what you've discovered, but my investigation has led me to Dr. Kirk Langstrom. The claw measurements of Wayne Manor matched the man. Mm, food. Like who wants to be on a stakeout when we can be hanging with Sia? And be vegans. Whatever that means. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. I'm so happy you stayed. Okay, you two want to get this party started? Oh boy, you, you know, know it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at this, Scoop. Oh boy. <laughs> no, stop, wait. <gasps> Doi, can't start our party without my vegan pie maker and cotton candy machine. Pies and cotton candy! I'm sorry, but that is not how we eat pies in my house. <laughs> it tastes much better this way. You try it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, lean forward. Okay, now tilt back. <laughs> Guys, uh, I have to run an errand. You two help yourselves to as much as you want. Ahead of you, Sia. Yeah, way ahead. You two are crazy cute. Oh, bye. Like, which one of us is the cute, and which one's the crazy? I'm the cute one. Duh. What was that? It's coming from the food pantry. So, like, maybe it's the food wanting to get out and get eaten. <laughs> Sure, Xander. Any 
great thing for an old friend and president of the Hex Girls fan club. Uh, great! Okay, uh, there's word going around that a roadie went crazy tonight. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Smells like impromptu trapping time. Wicked. <laughs> you got to admire the guy's work ethic. He went crazy and still showed up for work. Yeah, with my guitar. <laughs> He looks possessed. What's wrong with him? Nothing. It's rock and roll. Yeah, this kind of stuff happens all the time. I wrecked my own house eight times last week. No reason. Just felt like it. Uh, well, if you girls say it's normal. Hex girls to the stage. Three minutes. All right. Time to rock, rock and roll. roll. Look, Scoob, if I were a member of the Hex Girls, I'd be a goth version of Pizza Face. And I'd be the hot dog Hex Dog. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Pizza Face needs more pepperoni. Rock <laughs> and roll, dude. <laughs> Let's see how this baby rocks. with that guitar. Hang on, Thor! Tranquilizer gun? Like, is that a joke? We never joke about Thorn's Trank gun. Never! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Sorry! Rado here is in charge of cooking up the Texas barbecue for the show. <laughs> Smells delicious. Like, <laughs> Laredo, huh? Is that where you're from, cowgirl? No, I'm from Houston. Oh! oh. Oh, okay. okay. Do we have some? But you won't even know it's gone. <laughs> and you, Miss Musgrave, got nothing but respect. But I hope your show does get canceled. There's no excuse for the lack of security around here. Mm. I can't have some looky-loo steal the secret ingredients to my sauces and rubs. <laughs> <laughs> Those are gonna stay safe right inside this here smoker. Okay, Laredo, duly noted. Suspicious. I put together a little meat snack for you boys, plus every hot sauce known to humanity. Hi, like Casey Musgraves, you are like totally awesome. Casey Musgraves, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> A word, please. Guys, this is the great Sir Daniel Crawford. He is playing the mesquite tree in my show. You mean was playing the mesquite tree? That terrible ghost has me so scared, I can't even get out of this costume. Ah! I quit. I absolutely quit, 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 quit. He is not a very nice tree. Back to eating hot sauce. Careful, Scooby. That's my extra special homemade hot, hot, hot sauce. <gasps> oh, my 
like that is serious hot sauce. Y'all, it's perfectly safe, I promise. It's just a little hard on the floors. Come on! The basement! Hold the phone. There's a cave down there. Looks pretty big. We should definitely check it out. I don't think physics works like that. Don't think with your head. Think with your mouth. No. Boy, that's not to eat. Fuck, it's working, man. Buongiorno. I kiss up my fingertips in the air like this. Mwah. Mwah. Welcome to Buko Di Doo. Party of one, man. Wow, that tree thing can really eat. Take it from me, I'm a professional. Yes! <laughs> Boy, ow. sure wish I had my weed trimmer right about now. <laughs> What happened? It just got all brittle and died. Lucky for us. And very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch, guys. Oh, like, I guess that's it. At least we're all okay. 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 This is a disaster! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Haggerty, dude. Like, maybe nobody will find out your factory is being destroyed by some kooky cursed tree monster. It's an eating sports exclusive. Haggerty's hot dog factory is being destroyed by some kooky cursed tree monster. Looks like the annual hot dog eat off two over has a surprise entry. Legendary monster, the gnarled one. Ba bam Is this the end of Joey Chestnut's comeback hopes? Is this the end of Haggerty's hot dog, the dog that puts a on your face. Find out everything on Big Ding Sports. Oh, yeah. Scoob, with our appetites, we got this one in the bag. Ready? Look. Not him. Yes, dude, it's me in all my paleness. Wow, it's actor, writer, writer producer, producer, and stand up comedian Jim Gaffigan. Like he's a total fast food aficionado. Mm -hmm. I prefer glutton or male model. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to listen to Rick start his competition that I'm about to win. The rules for the race are simple drive the circuit of Doc Tally restaurants, eat the required burgers, fries, and shakes and then return here for the finale. And the winner gets the first ever off the grill Doc Tally Supreme with cheese. Still, 
in its original wrapper. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Hang on, folks. Let me find out what's going on with the lights. Like Scoob, my mouth is watering just thinking about that 70-year-old burger. Yeah, me too. Well, don't let your mouths get too watery, because I'm going to be the one eating that 70-year-old burger, and I'm going to eat it right in front of you and those meddling kids. <laughs> Spectral Speedster was a hot rod racer that ruled these roads more than 60 years ago. One night he was racing for a Doc Tally triple decker and crashed. His body was never found. It's rumored his horrible ghost cursed all the Doc Tally restaurants forever and- Part in the opening credits where Pazzo throws a pie in a kid's face. It was comedic genius. Oh, how I wanted to be that kid. Getting that pie in the face every day for all of TV eternity to be a part of comedy legend. <sighs> Pazzo was one of my earliest influences. He had such a brilliant sense of comedic timing. 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 Uh, yeah, timing. Good job, guys. Hi. Simone. Hi, hey, hey, hi, hello, Simone. Yeah, I'm Keenan's acting partner. Hey, hi, a pleasure. What, what do you mean, what's up? <laughs> What are you doing here? We talked about this. We are not in middle school drama club anymore, Simone. I'm a solo act now. Solo, as in uno, mano, me, myself, and I. This isn't over, Keenan Thompson. You will be sorry. Hmm. Got any ideas what you might do on the telethon, Keenan? Well, some skits and sketches. Maybe some surprises. You know, improvise while I televise. <laughs> Hmm? Oh. <gasps> right. You're invisible. Oh. Hey, where'd I go? <laughs> you got a green t-shirt against the green screen. It's TV magic, bro. <laughs> huh. Looks like we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Please stand by. Get out! Where's that signal coming from? Some kind of outside hack? Or an inside curse? You've been warned! Get out! Or be cursed! <gasps> like somebody hand me the remote! I want to change this kooky ghost channel! <laughs> hey, what's the... Hey, 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 now nah, ain't no remote there. I can't find it. <laughs> 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 Come on, Scoop! Let's take the catwalk! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> I'll be doomed. Oh. <laughs> Huh? It's some kind of digital interference. 
You won't believe it. Me and Shaggy, we were joking, saying, oh my, and elbowing each other. And then I take a note, metal sounded like, Kong Kong, metal thing. <laughs> the ghost I standing next to the right there, and it would grab us. And we were trying to go over the lake because we were really scared. Like what Scoob said. Frankly, I have no idea what Scooby-Doo just said. Doombringer Ghost Knight! Coming this way! Easy for you to understand, he's your dog. Oh, the Ghost Knight! How dare you set foot in this hall! I shall destroy you all! <laughs> Hello? Waggy? Fred? Hmm. Wellmo? Raffney? Just wrong. You stand here. <laughs> Rolling and action. Oh, brave knight, save me. Cut, cut, makeup, makeup. <laughs> It's empty, man. Mr. Gator Man Monster. Well, gang, it looks like we have a real mystery on our hands. And I can't believe we're in it with famous, famous singer slash award-winning multi-platinum alternative pop maverick, pop maverick Halsey. Halsey. Actually, Halsey is my stage name. My real name is Ashley Nicolette Frangipani, like the flower. Famous singer slash award-winning multi-platinum alternative pop maverick Halsey, whose real name is Ashley Nicolette Frangipani, like the flower. Boy, dude. Maybe it's cool if we just call you Halsey. <laughs> I'm a big, big fan, man. Like a really big fan. I don't know why anyone would put me in a poetry slam against you, Scooby-Doo. Because you are a poet. <laughs> well, I do dabble in like the odd poetic composition, but mostly when no one is listening, Scoob. Layers of moon sandwich, gnashed on by the hungry teeth of the stars. <laughs> Flotsam and jetsam of time and tide waiting for no man or no woman or no nobody or no know-it-all. <laughs> the dancing moon speaks, mouth tones. I stink, therefore I smell. 
<laughs> Dog ears hear everything. <laughs> I wouldn't worry, Shaggy. It looks like the poetry slam is done. Especially if the prize has been stolen. That really burns my bacon burger. Mmm, bacon, bacon burger. But it makes no sense why a gator man monster would steal an old brass key. The key is a symbolic prize. It's not priceless. It's just an old key. The gator monster! He's back! Relax. It's just the poetry slam promoter. Sorry. I got so terrified when that monster attacked, I hid. What? Don't give me that look. I can love poetry and be a huge chicken. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get a fresh pair of pants. How about you, Scoob? Me neither. Huh? Hey! That's our Dumpster Burger! Come back here! Oh, sorry, Scoob! <laughs> 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 Well, Watson, it seems that oversized beast certainly used his head to help our investigation. <laughs> huh. These aren't even real bricks. They're foam. As I suspected. But don't just stand there, Mother Gate, Mrs. Hudson. A spot of tea would be perfect right about now. Come, Watson. The game is afoot. Right behind you, Holmes. Oh, I think he just called me Mrs. Hudson. <laughs> Mrs. Hudson. <laughs> Not getting a signal. But this place looks like an old tube station for the underground. Hmm. It has never been used. Look, the tracks for the train were never put down. Whoa! Clumsy, clumsy, Mrs. Hudson, but fortuitous. Fortuitous indeed. Mrs. Hudson slipped on some kind of oil and dirt. And these marks, Watson. What do you make of that? Oh, you bitches got me oil of white on ya. What then you doing, me oxo cube? Don't fret, everyone. I know over 76 different languages. I speak rhyming slang. Mm -hmm. Oh, my China, we're off in the case of a nasty pillar and post. Pillar and post? No pork pie. Huh, the deuce you say? I had him an evia. We'd all better use our plates of meat up the apples in pears. I told him we're hunting for a ghost. He believes me, and he thinks we should leave. Leave? Now that's a language I can understand. Me too. Here we are, 221B Baker Street. You, you, you see? <laughs> this is my laboratory. Mm -hmm. Boy, dude, this place is weird. I don't know, Shaggy. It might just be what we need to help our research. <laughs> you see, Mrs. Hudson, Watson understands the import of science. Science, Mrs. Hudson! Science, science, science! <laughs> <laughs> That creepy gargoyle dude is gone. Come on, gang. Let's track him down. Hmm. So far, nothing seems strange. Oh, spoke too soon. Ah, there's an oily blue material inside of these footprints. Look. These footprints end at this wall. Hmm, that's an odd light. I wonder if it's here for a different reason. Oh. Wow! Like Scoob, are you thinking what I'm thinking? 
Yeah. Then we'll go down the hidden staircase. Great. Let's all go down the hidden staircase. I was afraid you were going to say that. Jinkies. Catacombs. Catacombs. Like as if this place wasn't scary enough. Now we're in some crazy ancient graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, no turning back now. <laughs> Someone's using the catacombs as an art studio. Guys, look. Oil paints. Mixed with coffee grounds? That's odd. Gang, check this out. These are the exact paintings from the Renaissance collection that are on display at the Louvre. <gasps> they must be counterfeits. No, Daphne. These are the originals. Which means... Someone has replaced the paintings in the museum with forgeries. This mystery is really starting to come together. Shaggy, Scooby, we know you didn't get to eat your pastries, but just try to keep your stomachs quiet a little longer. No, Not look us. at us! Snacks too? You know it, Chloe Kim. Come on, I made extra. <sighs> oh boy. Wow, she's good. Why, Chloe, you have got mad pancake skills, dude. <laughs> uh, thanks, Shaggy. You know, you may be a gold medalist at winter sports. And good with pancakes. Like Scoob and I could definitely show you a thing or two about midnight snackage. Scooby-Doo? Um, guys? Where's the caveman? Caveman! Dude, that's what we're talking about. Where is the caveman? Uh, um, uh, um. Rawr! Oh, slaves. Uh, first word, caveman. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 caveman. <sighs> no, wait, wait, uh, uh, behind. Like behind you, the caveman is right behind you. <laughs> like we got it, dude. Scoob, you and I are very smart.
Now, Daphne! Oh, no. He went around it. Now, Shaggy! Behind you! Jeepers! Looks like they're splitting up. Classic move. And they handled that obstacle with such grace. That's what you want to see out there on the ice. You do not know who you're messing with, monster. And it's all over, folks. Jinkies, that was close. <laughs> nice moves, Miss Lipinski. Now let's see who this monster really is. <gasps> Are you quite done causing all that ruckus? Ruckus? Did uh, she just call me ruckus? I'm sick of all this. This, this game's just a bunch of ruckus and flim flam. Flim flam's here? Oh, a dog. He helped us with at least 13 ghosts. I think you're wrong. The ice games are building a better world through sport. Pa! Now everything is so noisy and crowded, it's ruining our quiet village. I hope the Schnitzufel chases all of you away. The Schnitz and Toothful? The Schnitzufel! The snow devil? Don't worry, old ladies love me. It's so lucky that we ran into you. It's like my grandmother always tells me when I call her. She's not getting older, she's getting wiser. Please, ma'am, we just need your wisdom. Oh, you called your grandmother? The Schnitzelfell is a legendary creature that's said to prowl these very mountains. Huge, scary, white as snow, claws like ice, fangs like ice, eyes like... Ice? No, don't be ridiculous. They're bright red. 
blood red. The beast glides across the ground like a ghost, and it appears out of nowhere to attack! <laughs> I used to think the snow devil was just a scary story told to keep children in line, but I have seen the beast with my own eyes now! And it's your fault! All of you visitors tromping all over our land! You've awakened the monster! Enjoy being eaten by the snow devil! I look forward to my village being quiet again! Could that old woman be involved in the monster attacks? She certainly has the motivation. I don't know, but we better find out fast. We're running out of time to solve this before Daphne's competition begins. Why, dude, I'm more worried about being eaten by that schnitzel guy. Yo, look, he's gotten away. <laughs> Come on, gang. It's stuck. Ah! Quick! Whoa. Time for the bees. <laughs> oh. Where are you, my guests? Thank you. Mr. Foxworthy, I've been looking for you. I'm in charge of this house relocation. I'm not moving anything until you get that horrible witch out of there. Yeah, my friends here are working on it. Now, in the meantime, I'd like to look at the construction plans. And we'd better take a look for clues to solve this mystery. And we better look for food. <laughs> you know it. Mm -hmm. was a big one. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute, Scooby Doo, did somebody drop you on your head when you Ooh. were little? You don't touch a bug zapper. Wait a minute. Whoa, no. Were you boys watching the bug zapper as entertainment? Well, yeah. Like, dude, it is amazing. Really? Well, you might just be a country boy, Shag. Tell me, hey, be honest with me. Are chiggers in your top five list of hygiene concerns? Yes, definitely. I hate chiggers. Worse than fleas, even. <laughs> so itchy. <laughs> Well then, Scooby-Doo, you might just be a country boy. <laughs> hey, hey, what you eating? Pork rinds. We got all the flavors, man. <laughs> Barbecue, wasabi, mud pie. Mud pie flavored pork rinds? You boys aren't country boys. You are geniuses! 